Hello, and welcome to this very first unit of the Master of Intercultural Studies, the one, the first unit we're offering at least, uh, on developing resilience and spiritual maturity in intercultural ministry. My name's Richard. I'll be guiding you through this unit and hopefully helping you. And that's not because I'm particularly advanced in um, spiritual maturity or anything like that. Um, uh, but because I have a real heart and, and desire to help you um, serving on the field, wherever you happen to be, uh, to to keep growing in your knowing, loving, and serving our Lord Jesus, and becoming more like Him. I'm convinced that um, anything we do that has any kind of any kind of eternal impact will come from um, will come from the source, uh, the Lord, uh, and and our connection with Him, our relationship with Him. And there's no other way for that to happen. No other way for us to bear fruit except by remaining in the Lord. Um, earlier this year, I uh, was given uh, nearly six months of study leave, and that's a time when we're supposed to kind of read and write and stuff. And one of the things I was able to do was spend more extended times with the Lord um, in a yeah more relaxed kind of way. And I, I, I. The, I felt that that this that time was the time uh, has been, and all the way through this year, really a time when God has spoken to me more than at any other time in my life. Um, through meditating on Scripture, I was working through a book called The Ignatian Adventure, uh, which is a series of meditations on on the life of Jesus, and uh, yeah, just it was new for me. This a uh, new way of reading the Bible, uh, really soaking myself in the scenes and talking to the Lord about it and letting him challenge me, which he did very much. And um, and I'm trying to continue that, that way of uh, reading scripture. It's a new thing for me. I suppose what I'm saying is that um, I the Lord is wanting me to continue to Get to know and love him uh, uh, more. There's 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 so much more of him to know um, than than I do uh, and to experience. And um, yes, I'm hoping that that's that 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 that'll be your experience too through this. Uh, you know, not that you'll just understand some new things um, or grasp some things in your mind, but that there'll be some. Some whole life, some some heart movement uh, in in your relationship with God. Uh, learning online may be a new experience for you. Teach, teaching online is certainly a new experience for me, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to help each other. So please let me know whenever something when things aren't working, um, and what kinds of things have been help or are being helpful to you and things that aren't being quite so helpful to you. I, I, we want to learn. Um, I want to learn about how to do this better. Um, one of the things that makes online learning and teaching uh, something really transformative is developing a sense of community as a group of, of, of learners. So um, you will be learning from readings and input from me, but you'll be also learning a lot from each other's perspectives and experience of um, of the the kind of content of this unit um, so the experiences that God has has given you so to make this work well uh, we're all going to need to be open um, as open as we can be with our experience and uh, being willing to share with each other in various forms written and sometimes on um, through pictures and diagrams and videos at points. Uh, so let me encourage you to relax and be yourself um, and also to agree um, not to share anything specific about specific people in the group uh, with others. Um, we can share in general ways, you know, someone said this or whatever, um, but uh, let's keep this uh, 
you know, personal kinds of stuff um, within the within the group. Uh, we're probably going to encounter some teething problems. This is a pilot um, unit, and uh, this is just brand new for for the college. So let me encourage you to. Um, direct any questions, difficulties you're having to, um, well, if it's about IT stuff, to Matt, and his email is, is, is there in the transcript, um, or about the library or library resources to Jackie, or about the content of the unit, please uh, let me know, ask me, uh, whatever you're, you might be struggling with. So we'll, we'll aim to respond to your requests uh, fast. We're aiming for within 24 hours. We'll see how that goes. So at this point, I suggest you take several steps, and that's uh, just read through the unit outline, uh, the purpose, learning outcomes, structure, content, assessment tasks, and dates. Purchase a copy of each of the, I think, four texts actually. Um, actually, two of them are available as ebooks, as an ebook from the library, and you can see how well that works or doesn't work. You may decide in the end just to get your own Kindle version. Um, and set aside some blocks of time in your calendar to work on the uh, the assessment tasks. I think you should probably budget about about 10 hours for each 1,000 words of writing. It may take you more, it may take you less, but something like that. And each week uh, they'll be not just reading stuff, but they'll be interacting. Interacting with the the things you're we're, we're grappling with and with each other um, and with God about these things. So You'll see that'll probably take about two or three hours each week. The the the, the reading and the acti learning activities. You'll notice that each week um, there are there'll be activities, um, and just work your way down step by step through each uh, week. You'll find there are icons indicating whether it's something to read or watch or do, um, and. We've organized the material carefully to guide you through the process of learning step by step. I'm looking forward to um, to working with you, to learning alongside you as well. Um, yeah, this will give me a chance to read uh, these readings I selected earlier this year um, in more depth and uh, to reflect on them myself. So uh, yes, I wish you uh, a very good experience of of learning and growing through this semester.